My name is Sabrina. I'm calling from Vancouver, Washington. My prayer request is for reconciliation and prayer against fear and against doubt, especially concerning discerning the voice of the Lord, because it's very hard to believe sometimes. It seems like, am I really hearing from God? Which also scares me. You feel isolated at times. Yes. It's like people, they don't understand you. Yes. No worries. It's because you're one with the difference. You just keep pressing in to touch Jesus. Seek the face of Jesus the more. You can never go wrong. Okay? Amen. He loves you. Open your heart. Be ready to receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any spirit that wants to steal, kill, or destroy in our life, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Who are you inside of this body? I don't want her to know the truth. She knows she hears from God. She doesn't want to believe. I don't want her to doubt. And I don't want her to be afraid. And who are you? What is your name? Spirit of what? Fear. Doubt. I don't want her to see what she sees. I don't want her to know what she knows. She keeps seeing things. She keeps hearing things. And she keeps telling people. But I don't want her to speak. I want her to be quiet, and that's why I killed those relationships. What are those things that she sees? I see her seeing people healed. I see her seeing people delivered, people set free from bondage, and I don't want her to see those things. Who is showing her those visions? Jesus is. Jesus is why he... No, because she's so sad all the time. <laughs> she's so depressed. She keeps crying and crying, and I want her to cry. What do you use to make her depressed? Rejection. Rejection. And those people that reject her, are they children of God? They are. <laughs> how do you operate through them? They don't know how God works. So they assume and they don't know, so they speculate. We say things about her. <laughs> not true. What kind of things do you say? She's insane. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's confused. She's hearing from herself. With those who are led by the Spirit of God, can you confuse them? Only if they allow me to. So how, how would they allow you to do that? By not reading their word, by not praying, that's how I get them. But those who are grounded in the word oh, of God, yes. can you just yes, those are hard to move, just like you. And what happens to you when she reads the Bible every day and prays in spirit and in truth? I grow weak and I don't want to attack her even more. I can't. Now how did you enter her life? She did some things that she knows about and she asked forgiveness for. Did God forgive her? Yes. But she keeps seeking people to validate that forgiveness. All right, what are those things that you pushed her to do in the past? I coerced her to be sexual at a tiny little age. And <laughs> she didn't know it because she doesn't know better. I will not leave her. I want to be a thorn in her side. Right? I can be that, right? Paul had one, why can't I be? <laughs> How many of you are inside of her? 25. 25. Mention your names. Guilt, fear, doubt, lust, rejection, spiritual abuse, spiritual hatred. Who is the most powerful one? Fear. Yeah, I'm, I'm the worst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Explain. Fear is more powerful than the devil himself because it causes people to lose their mind. But what happens? when somebody receives the Holy Spirit. They are filled with joy and peace. I get exterminated. Right. So right now you fear, you doubt, you rejection, all of you evil spirits. Your time in this body is up. She is a child of God. You have no authority over her. And it's time for you all to go. Come out the mighty name of Jesus. Oh! Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out. All of you are going. Hmm? All of you move out of her and never return. No, 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 no. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She will live to the glory of God. She will prophesy. She will be used 
Thy Jesus to destroy your kingdom. Oh! Oh, the mighty name of Jesus. Oh. All of you. Move out of order! Oh! Everything is apart from the heart. Move your ring. The armor, everything, remove it. Everything you deposit on the body. Move your crown, everything. Take it off. Take it off and go. Oh! It's the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's right? Go with every last one of you. And you will never return. You will never cause her doubt, fear, and rejection. She will glorify her heavenly father. Go back on the floor! In Jesus Christ's name. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Rise up. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What was happening to you during the prayer? I uh, was manifesting spirits that were speaking out of me. I just, I felt, um, you know, those were momentarily in control while you were praying. And by the power of Jesus, they had to answer and reveal what was causing that negative occurrence in my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling relieved that I wasn't just crazy. I'm so grateful for that confirmation and reassurance. It means a lot to my walk with God. Hearing His voice is just precious to me. And I don't want to take that for granted or misunderstand Him. Praise the Lord. So, I want you to know that <laughs> those evil spirits are out. Amen. You are free to the glory of God. Glory to God. There Amen. is no condemnation Amen. for those who are in Amen. Christ Jesus. I need to get that on the bracelet. You are forgiven. You are set free. <laughs> you, you will glorify Amen. the kingdom of God and destroy the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, please continue to read your Bible. Make sure you stay in an attitude of faith and prayer. And remember, your confession matters. All right? So keep the confession of faith. Don't worry about what others think. All that matters is what God thinks. Yes. All right? And His love towards you remains constant and unchanging. Never forget that. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sabrina. I wanted to give my testimony on what I was experiencing before receiving prayer and how I came about uh, requesting prayer from Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries. I was dealing with depression and loneliness, isolation, and a lot of fear. Um, I do read my Bible every day, so anybody who is a believer, who is struggling with anything, I really encourage you, don't ever stop reading the Word of God. Um, read it every day and apply it to your life to the best of your ability and do reach out for help when you need it. You know, as brothers and sisters in Christ, it's better that we are not alone. And this is part of my testimony, but even my relationship with God and my walk with God, there are some things that I've experienced that um, other people don't relate to or they don't understand when they see it or when they hear it. And because of that, I felt um, isolated at times, even in the church, because I would be hearing things that I believe were from God and seeing things in a spiritual level um, or kind of being given an understanding regarding certain situations that it didn't seem like other people were seeing, it didn't seem like other people were understanding and even leaders and, um, and people who really love God and I know they do and um, they just, they're not seeing what I'm seeing, they're not hearing what I'm hearing and I'm wondering, God, am I, it must be me. So it, it's it's been hard uh, because I you don't want to be rejected by people. <laughs> um, how I came to ask for prayer <laughs> was because one night I could not fall asleep, and it was probably <laughs> past like one in the morning, and I had been crying and depressed and fearful. Am I really hearing from God? Like I really needed confirmation. I've been so afraid for so long. 
for whatever reason, uh, Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries, I had seen them on YouTube, I had, you know, watched how they ministered to people and seen their heart for God and uh, for people. And I felt like they really honored God with how they approached their ministry. And that came to my mind and my heart at that moment when I was in such desperation and I was just so low. But that's how I came about to reach out for prayer. And when I received prayer, it confirmed that I was hearing from God and the condemnation, like part of me was aware of it, but it wasn't like the most forefront thing. But now through that prayer, I'm more aware of it now. And I'm really encouraged by what he said to confess faith and to stay in an attitude of faith. I'm grateful for being able to move forward with the knowledge that I have now, knowing that there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. I'm grateful that God used Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries and Frank Harvey Logan. I'm so grateful that God is with them and their ministry and I pray that God will continue to use them and I hope that anybody who is experiencing depression or fear, um, doubt, some words of advice, continue to read the Word of God. If not for God, I don't know where I would be. If not for His Word, it sustained me even when I felt like giving up. <laughs> I would encourage them with the same encouragement I just received through prayer, which is stay in an attitude of faith and watch your confession. <laughs> confess faith. Even if you feel the opposite, confess faith and do what you need to do to encourage yourself in the Lord. I pray that you receive the deliverance that you need. I pray that you are encouraged and that God would give you joy and he would give you peace and anything that is not like God would be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for listening and God bless you.